welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up to kick the ball and we are ready to go he sends this one deep he's to the 20 tackle at the 24 the Wildcats in talking with them this week Kirk it's just interesting their perspective on this kid how good he is and how much they can lean on him. yeah you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches but the player himself and I got a real good vibe walking out thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. The junior makes the catch, and down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 48. Four. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. Tackle around the 32 yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That'll make it 77. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. Fires incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. That time, he aimed the ball, it was incomplete. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. They'll bring him down at the four. the PAT. So a 12-play, 77-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Drive. From his own goal line, got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Watch out here. 
Brought down at the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45. The defender had it and then dropped it. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. Makes it out to about the 26. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Taken down right around the 14-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Man left, man left. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Three down, three down. Mark shift, 33. 33. No. They'll get him for a loss. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 21. sack it's now fourth and long kicks up and they tack on three points looks like they're ready for the kick he's to the 20 Got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 42-yard line. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Nice grab on the play, and he hits him hard at the 48. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires complete over the middle, and they make the stop right around the 40. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. And down he goes, around the 35-yard line. That's good for a of yards. That brings him second and five. Arizona, four-point lead. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Knocked out of bounds at the 27. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Mike 56, Mike 56. 
takes it out to about the 16. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Wildcats lead it by four. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They hand it off. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. And he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. At the 41-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's gobbled up in the backfield. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. the screen here and the halfbacks got it. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Fires quickly and he's got his man and he is drilled at the 44. possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Arizona up seven points. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. He 
he gets to about the 34-yard line. Makes it to the 24. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. Gets out to around the six. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Touchdown, Wildcats. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he tacks on the extra point. The Wildcats running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Scrambling around. He's out to the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds. Yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 32. Takes the ball right. Runs right for a nice game. Hawaii's going to take their first time out of the half. Caught out in the open. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 44-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. He's tackled in the open field. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. They bring him down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. The Wildcats had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Going for it all to the end zone. Drops it. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. First down, Grant. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. They 
they bring him down in the backfield. And he's got all the time in the world. Diving for extra yardage. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away. Puts the uprights. Hawaii lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Nice run there. We played a half. Arizona in front, 17-6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 19. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish. Finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Here they come. And he just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Tackle at the 32. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 35. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. made at about the 49. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He 
gets his way to about the 42. Stuff. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. This is the eighth play of this drive. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Short over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. They'll get two on that one. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. That one out of this. That'll make it second and four. Check three, check three, check three. He gets rid of this one. They're about four yards away here on third down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He goes out of bounds at the 30. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. They're about four yards away here on second down. down after a nice run up the middle. yard line. First down. Forward to about the 33. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. And he's tackled after positive yardage. 
And this play is number eight on the drive. Again with the run. He's at the 20. What a play, and that is first and goal. So at the end of the third quarter, Arizona in front, 17-6. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They don't get it. A 10-play, 63-yard drive, and they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Fires out to his wider. That makes it first and ten. Complete brought down, nothing doing. The pitch, and he's got some room. And down he goes around the 35 yard line. the tailback. Nice run to the left there. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackled after a decent pickup. Taken down at the 13 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown Wildcats. He's been a force getting to Pater.
three times. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 69-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Arizona to kick. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 27. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they hit him in the backfield. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Hawaii's out of timeouts. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes his way to about the 22. That's good for a 14 yards. First down. Run and he's